Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. Well, today is Vlogmas Day 13. <laughs> it is 13 already. I can't believe that. And this month is almost halfway through. And then, then there's, you know, the New Year's coming up and then we start all over again. <laughs> so, but anyway, I can't believe how fast it's going. So anyway, today I'm going to share with you guys my I don't have a project for today, but I do have my scrappy blanket and my uh, baby blanket. And then tonight I'll share with you the ornament for the day for the Christmas tree. And also I have some happy mail I'm going to uh, show you here. But anyway, yeah, me and hubby, we just got back a while ago. We had to go out of town for just a little bit, pay that uh, electric bill. And, and of course, had to go to Walmart and get some stuff and just got back. So I'm kind of running late. The sun's already, actually, it's, yeah, it's heading that way now. <laughs> So, uh, time for me to go in and change my clothes and do my chores. So, but anyway, um, I want to get up here and share with you guys what I got. And I got a cute card, Christmas card from Summer. And she is from Kentucky. And it is the cutest card. And I want to show you the stickers. This is the, these are the stickers on the back of it. And it's so cute. And there's a couple on the front here, but I'm going to, I'm going to have to be careful so I don't show any addresses. See if I can slide it that way a little bit. And then we got one of Santa. <laughs> and then I got a cute Santa Claus stamp. So, and there is my card. I love this card. Oh my goodness. You know how I love my cat, Summer. <laughs> I do. I love my cats. And it says, have yourself a peaceful little Christmas and look at that sweet little calico so precious <laughs> I just wonder how they got it to be still like that to take that picture <laughs> mine wouldn't do that <laughs> okay and on the inside she wrote me a real sweet note here and and then it says with love with extra love all around love and hug summer and not only that she put some cute stickers in here, but she made something for me, and I absolutely love it. And Summer, I'll cherish this the rest of my life. I'll either, I'm going to hang it on my Christmas tree, and then after I'm done with that, I am going to stick it in my Bible. And look at this. Look at that cross. Is that not beautiful? Look at those colors. This is gorgeous, and I thank you for that. And it's so tiny. What is that? Crochet thread? I've never made anything with crochet thread like that. And it is so tiny. And that's beautiful. Beautiful work there, Summer. And I love it. And thank you so, so much. I do. I love that. It's so pretty. And then the other thing that she put in there, because she always puts stickers, and I was super excited. And let me show you these first. Little kitty cat. <laughs> I couldn't get my cat to do that either, I don't think. <laughs> But anyway, and that one says, Meow Christmas, and then some puppies, and then a, a bone there, and, and then it's got the two snowflakes. Isn't that cute? I'm going to have to get me an album and put these in the album like uh, Ashley does. I, I need to get on the ball. <laughs> and then there's these stickers. I just got through showing my little polar bear last night on the ornament. So there's a polar bear, and then there's a moose. Snowflakes and then the wreath and the present. And I need to make me a moose. Matter of fact, Olive from Stringy Ding Ding just came out with that uh, pattern that I I could have chose through the, for the three, one of the three, you know, to test for her. And I really wanted to do that moose too, but I never, I ran out of time. And, you know, I, I did test, you know, the towel uh, topper and then the other, which were the snowmen. But um, I'll eventually get around to making that moose. So it is so cute. And she just came out with it uh, yesterday. And it, you know, you need to go check it out. It is. It's cute. I'll put a link down below where you can go look at it. And it is free on her blog. <laughs> and she also has a paid for PDF download if you want to get that too. But, you know, it's super cute. And like she said, you don't have to make it just for Christmas. You could, you know, for whenever. So it is. It's cute. All right. Thank you so much, Summer. I absolutely love this. And I'll cherish it forever all right let me put them back in here so i won't drop them on the ground all right here we go lay it right here where there hadn't been no i need to wipe my table off the birds have been on there again <laughs> all 
All right, now the first thing I'm gonna share with you is the uh, blanket. It's Maria's Blue Crayon, and it is uh, a Christmas blanket. And I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna make a baby blanket out of it. And so I'm actually starting, starting on the fifth row. I couldn't believe it last night when I was putting those squares together. I thought, wow, this is the end. I'm already on the fifth row and I didn't realize it. So if I'm correct, the first color is gonna be the mainstay green. And then the next one, and I had to have one of these, is going to be the vintage light bulb. <laughs> I had to make me one. And so I'm going to be uh, putting this next to the green. And I think it's going to be really pretty up there. Now this is a pattern by uh, Jada in Stitches. She has a video tutorial on it. And it's a called, I think, a Christmas ornament applique, I believe is what it's called. But I just think it's the cutest thing. And real easy to make and uh, if you'd like to make you one so anyway that's the applique for today for the baby blanket and the color that's going to go beside it see if I can do this I don't want to snag it there is this red heart super saver green that I don't really know I keep saying it's Kelly green but I'm not sure but anyway that's going to be really pretty so I'll go in there tonight and crochet it together all right now the next one is my scrappy blanket i'm so excited let me see if i can reach over here i've had to get me a brace today Ugh, my wrist is starting to hurt and i think it's because i've been crocheting so much non-stop for three months every day i'm almost 100 percent sure every day i'm making something so it's been kind of giving me a little bit of a telling me you need to slow down a little bit so finally yesterday whenever I'd pick something up it would just give and it's so it's starting to hurt so I went and got me a brace today and it helps a lot and actually on the way home <laughs> I took of course I took some crochet with me I uh, got it out and it is kind of hard you know because you can't bend it but I'm I'm still doing it by golly <laughs> I gotta keep going <laughs> so anyway so I'm gonna see if I can get this out of here without snagging it or or anything dropping it on the ground <laughs> yeah yesterday when i was unloading my dishwasher and putting dishes up i had a big glass cake pan and when i picked it up to, t to turn to put it in my cabinet my wrist gave out and i had to you know i already was holding it with my right hand and so i knew then it was time to get something to support it a little bit for a little while it's done this before a long time ago but I don't think I was crocheting then. <laughs> okay, to the scrappy blanket. Now, I keep forgetting to mention this is a scrap busting half double crochet blanket by uh, Jada in Stitches, and she does have a video tutorial up there to show you how to do it. If you've never made a blanket before and you'd like to do it in like half double crochet, this one's perfect. I mean, she's a really good teacher. And so, Anyway, this is how it's turning out so far. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. It's really showing up today because it's cloudy. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love this blanket so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, last night, we put in... Actually, we put in uh, six rows. I forgot. I, I was behind. And so, you pull it up here. It's already hitting the ground. Um, I put in that... Oh, it's that cherry red, and it was held with that ball of green that had the sparkles in it. And I think it's Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and uh, jelly bean. And then this was that, oh, that big ball of ombre. I can't even think of what it's called now. Well, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, mandala. Yes, mandala yarn, the ombre. It's that blue color. I don't have the ball band anymore, and, but it's got different shades of blue in it. And then this is that Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And it was, uh, I just said it yesterday. Now I can't remember. But anyway, it's pretty. It's like a purple with some pink mixed in there, like a mauve, I guess. But anyway, that's looking really beautiful up there. I love that so much. So let's see what colors he's put in the back today. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see if we can do this without dropping it on the ground. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. 
One is a skein. Well, they're both skeins. <laughs> felt this, it almost felt like there was just one thing in there. And I thought, now he knows. I, I've always told him, now make sure you put two in there. All right, let's see what he's got in the bag. Oh, yeah, that's that. Well, right here's the tag. Red Heart Super Saver, and it is light gray. <laughs> and it's got that sparkle in it. So that's going to be really pretty. I'll lay that right there for right now. Up against. Yeah. That's the bottom. <laughs> oh my goodness, here it is. I'll get it together. That little bird's got a lot to say. That's going to be pretty up against that. Yes. That'll help it to pop some more. Alright, now let's see what other color we got over here. And the bag to go with it. Up in the pine tree above me, I guess. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I love this. That is the prettiest. It is that teal? Yes. I love that so much. Out of all that sparkly yarn that they have in that mainstay, this one's my favorite. I love this so much. All right, guys. So, this is what we got. Both of them. The sparkle to go with that. That's going to be beautiful. That's pretty. Going to have some more blue up against that blue, but that's okay. It's a different kind of a blue. It's that teal, which I guess blue is kind of, teal is kind of bluish green, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's what I've got there, and I'm going to go in there tonight. Boy, howdy. <laughs> and put that in while I watch some YouTube. But anyhow, I guess I'm going to hop off here, go change my clothes, and get busy and do all my chores and probably take my walk. And then I'll come back up here tonight to share with you guys the ornament for today. And Summer, thank you again so much for my Christmas card. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to go stick it in there right now where the uh, rest of them are. And I thank you for the cross. I do. I love that so much. It means the world to me. Anyway, I'll see y'all here in a little bit. All right, guys, it's time to reveal the ornament of the day. It's still Vlogmas Day 13. It's just me and Santa here. Well, actually, hubby's in the kitchen right now. But <laughs> but anyway, it's time to, uh, and, and the cats are here too. <laughs> anyway, it's time to reveal the ornament of the day for the tree. And um, it is a hat. <laughs> now, I meant to look before I sit down to see if I have any more on the tree, but I don't think so. I think this will be my first one. Because I made a bunch of ornaments last year for Vlogmas. And then, of course, you know, I've been working on some for this year. So, but anyway, this is a uh, pattern by uh, Jada in Stitches. And she has a video tutorial on it. And I think the name of it is Winter Hat Ornament, maybe. I don't remember. It's just because I've been making so many ornaments, it's hard to remember all the names. But anyway... Uh, I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out if you want to make one. And I used a 4.5 millimeter hook. And the yarn that I used is that Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in that metallic blue. And then the white. It's got the metallic in it. So pretty. But yeah, I wanted to make me a hat to add to my tree. So I uh, actually need to, I probably need to put a hanger on it before I, Hang it up there, or I could actually just stick it in here on one of the branches and kind of, I'll do it like that. You probably can't see it, though. <laughs> I'll turn my phone a little bit. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> see how long that'll last up there with the kitty cats. <laughs> and Summer, I hung that cross way up at the top because I did not want my cats to get a hold of that. <laughs> I started to hang it down here where you can see it in the video, but I thought, no, I'll do that, and then I'll forget, and then in the morning I'll find it on the on the ground here but anyway all right well that's the ornament i have to share with you guys today and i will uh put it like i said i'll put links down below where you can go check out everything i've talked about but anyhow i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed night and i will see you tomorrow on vlogmas day 14.